Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Laura and you're watching Dreams Books Courage and today I'm going to be doing the Disney book tag which was created by Caddy Tastic and I wasn't tagged by anyone but I really wanted to do this tag because I love Disney so much so I decided to go ahead and do it. For this tag it is based around movies that were made by Disney and so I'm really excited to see how my books will relate to these characters. So the first question is The Little Mermaid, a character who is out of their element, a fish out of water. And for this one, I'm going to pick Feyre from A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Within this novel, Feyre is forced to go live with a high fae, even though she's a human and that happens under very difficult circumstances. And Feyre has been raised to completely hate the fae. While the fae are these creatures with special powers and they just look better than humans, and they're faster and they're stronger, and Feyre is used to being the strong one in her family, but now she is known as a weakling because she is not one of the Fae, and for that she's definitely out of her element. Next we have Cinderella, a character who undergoes a major transformation, and for this one I'm going to pick two characters, and that is Darcy and Elizabeth from Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Obviously Pride is about Darcy and Prejudice is about Elizabeth. And they definitely have to overcome that because they both hate each other at the beginning of the novel. And they end up falling in love by the end of it, so obviously that is a major thing to overcome. And they have to overcome different phases of their life to realize that they are meant for each other. Next we have Snow White, a book with an eclectic cast of characters. And for this one I'm going to go with a trilogy that I don't talk about enough on this channel, and that is the Ink Heart Trilogy by Cornelia Funk. All of these characters are so unique and they have their own motives, and this trilogy definitely does not end the way that you would think it would. These characters are both human and fantastical creatures, so it's a crazy mix of people and animals that have all these unique abilities, and this is just a beautiful fantastical tale with a lot of eclectic characters. Next we have Sleeping Beauty, a book that put you to sleep, and this is probably an unexpected choice, but for this I'm going with The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I absolutely love this book and have nothing against it, but at some parts I did feel myself like dozing off which doesn't really make any sense because I love this book so much and I really enjoyed reading it and I would definitely recommend this book as well but for some reason this book made me feel very sleepy. Next we have The Lion King, a character who had a traumatic event happen to them in childhood and for this I'm going to go with Slana Sardothian from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I don't want to say too much about her childhood because you kind of learn more about it as you go through these books but her childhood sounds like the worst thing ever. But she went through a lot of traumatic events throughout childhood and she didn't really get to be a child for as long as she should have. So Selena is definitely mature beyond her years and she definitely has a lot of reasons as to why she became an assassin. Next we have Beauty and the Beast which is one of my personal favorite Disney movies and this is over a beast of a book that you were intimidated by but you found the story to be beautiful. And for that I'm gonna go with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. And this is an absolute brick of a book. It is just huge. This book is 870 pages long. This is actually the biggest book of the Harry Potter series and it is also my favorite book of the series. Obviously you guys all know about Harry Potter and of course I loved all the books but this one I was particularly intimidated by because of the size but I just felt like I flew through it because I was just so engaged in this story and I thought that this was the most beautiful book of all of them. Next we have Aladdin, a character who gets their wish granted for better or for worse. And for that I'm gonna go with Santiago from The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. And this character thinks that he gets his wish granted but it turns out to be way worse than he thought. This is a beautiful story but its ending is very tragic. And although Santiago's wish was granted, it was granted in the worst way possible. Next we have Mulan, a character that pretends to be someone or something that they're not. And for this I'm gonna go with Katniss from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins because I feel like throughout a lot of this trilogy Katniss has to pretend to be someone else and it's not always the same person. Like in the first book, it's mostly her pretending to be a love story girl. And then throughout the next two books, she has to kind of pretend to be this leader. And then she actually begins to want to become a leader. But first, she's thrown into this position which she doesn't necessarily want to be in. And so she starts out acting like she's something that she's not. And then she actually becomes an amazing leader. Next, we have Toy Story, a book with characters you wish would come to life. And of course, I could go with all of these characters from all of my books because I love them so much. But to be specific, I'm going to go with the characters from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I love all of these characters so much. And I feel like they'd be such an amazing and kick butt group of friends to hang out with. Like no one would be able to mess with you if you were hanging out with these guys. And I love listening to their group conversations so it'd be amazing to be able to actually be part of one. 
This last question is Disney Descendants, your favorite villain or morally ambiguous character. And for this one, I'm going to go with Adrian from the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. He is very much so morally ambiguous and you never really know how he stands on things a lot of times. And although you might want to hang out with him, he like smokes and drinks so then you think that you probably shouldn't. He does all of these horrible things a lot of the time, but you still kind of have to love Adrian anyways. So Adrian is definitely a very morally ambiguous character. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to be tagging Zoe over at Red by Zoe and also Grace from Loving Dim Books. I would love to see you guys do this video and I think you'd have a really fun time doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go get back to reading.